This is my friend Manny Rianda, who I met here at the dog park. That's right, we met right here at our grand opening of the dog park. You know, there was a lot of controversy about the dog park, remember? Yes, there was controversy over the old location and then this location, but this... And the money park. and all that, but, yes. but the beauty of it is what we always said, that it's, it's not really a dog park, you know? It's a people park. It's a people park. Yeah. And so there, you know, I see this woman sitting there and... Um, Chico has his GoPro cam on his back. I go, come on over here, Chico, take a picture of us. And we got there, and Chico took a picture of us. Yes, and I, said, and I said, I never laughed so hard in my life seeing a dog taking a video of me and you, and I didn't know any of this was going to happen. It was so special. Not only that, but I turned to Lois and I said, so which one's your dog, Lois? <laughs> What'd and you I, say? I don't have a dog. She didn't even have a dog. She didn't even have a dog. I'd love to have a dog, but I don't. And well, that we talked a little bit about having dogs in Key Biscayne and how it's complicated if you don't live in a house and where you can walk and where you can't. That's right. So that's the right. dog park really solved a lot of those issues. The dog park was great. Excuse me. Chico, come on over here. What are you doing? Yes, we have to meet Chico. He's making a big uh, fuss over there. Come on over here, Chichi. Come here. Come here. Come here and give me a high five. Come on. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. That a boy hey, right Chico. there. This is Chico, everybody knows Chico, so uh, <laughs> it's all about Chico always. We wanted to talk about was Chico with the videography because <laughs> the, he took the photograph and then he took a video. Took a video, yeah. Chico wears, a, you know, we do, we do some videos and sharing them on, you know, Facebook and Instagram and stuff and through the GoPro. And Chico has a GoPro harness, so he, he wears that sometimes. Yeah. Right. It, it's the, the culture in Key Biscayne has changed a lot around dogs. And, you know, for a long time, you couldn't even walk your dog, you know, around the park. Right. But uh, when I got Chico, we were like, we're going to change, the, we're going to help change the culture. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna bring you everywhere, Chico. So it took him everywhere. And as you were saying, it's a people park, too. Many people come here and meet other people they would never meet under any other circumstances. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the dog park, they're saying right now that maybe it's, you know, maybe it's too small, actually. But I don't... I think it's fine. Uh, the point is, is that it's more than just dogs in here. Yeah. Kids come in here. Kids love running on these hills here. In fact, um, you know Todd Hopperberg? Yes. Todd's amazing. And he brings the kids here? No, he, he saw the kids playing on the hills here in the dog park. And so he built these hills right over there on the edge. You've seen them. Oh. On the edge of the, on the, on the, edge of the park. On the other side of the dog park, they put these hills. It's almost seamless between the dog park and the people park. So, so that is a great... Yeah. New, and there's a new, um, I think that the council just ruled, or not ruled, I don't know if that's, ruled is maybe a heavy, heavy word, heavy word. <laughs> Commanded. decided <laughs> that it'd be a good idea to allow dogs in other parts of Key Biscayne, such as the paths through the park mm -hmm. and the middle path where the fountain is, right. which is logical because that's smart thinking by the council. Because people have to get to the dog park somehow, right? So they're going to come through those areas. Hey, Rocky, be quiet. Come on now. Chico, you're going to go sit in the car. And Terry asked me a little bit about the etiquette of the dogs. Where, I mean, right. When they uh, do their little things, the people are very careful about picking up. Well, there's no one more diligent than a dog owner in the dog park to pick up poop. If a dog lines up to poo, all of a sudden everyone who sees them, Hey, whose dog is that? Pa, 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 pa. So th that works, and um, frankly, what, what I do sometimes is if I, sometimes you just don't see it, you know? You don't see your, dude, your dog doing it. Or Chico's very shy, you know? Sometimes he likes to go yes. off to the bushes, I have to keep an eye on him. Frankly, he doesn't even like to poo in the park, he does it outside, but uh, you pick up other, other stuff, you know, if, if you have right. to. If it's someone else's, you clean the place, so. And that's... one day last week when we were planning to do this taping, the dog park was closed because they were cleaning and... That's right. Can you explain something about the Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but um, there's a sanitizing spray or water or mm -hmm. wash down that happens every month. 
Um, you could see how clean it really is. Yeah, it is I think that's beautiful. probably, you know, for the number one kind of stuff. Right. Uh, but um, they do a great job of keeping it clean. Do you know how this AstroTurf actually works in terms of... Uh... Frankly, Lois, I have no idea how the AstroTurf works. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, what I do know is this, that if it weren't AstroTurf, what would it be? Be grass. And if it's grass with dogs running around, what happens? It gets destroyed. That's it's, what we saw. It gets destroyed. It's, it's a mud park. pit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then who's going to want to go? Because every time you go home, you have to wash your dog. Like Chico, when I get home, I go, Chico, get in the shower. And he goes, runs in, hops in the shower, and sits there. In fact, the other day, I go, Chico, get in the shower. And I, and I went in, I sat down, I turned on the game, cracked a beer, started texting, and I heard a, a whining coming from the bathroom, and it was Chico. He was waiting in the bath. He was like, You forgot about me. <laughs> That's a true story. So, yeah, that's a great story. Well, so, uh, yeah, so, so it keeps true. it clean. It keeps it clean. Yeah. And, um, you know, you come here on a rainy day where the rest of the key is flooding, and it's fine. You can still come to the dog right. park and not worry about that. Well, that yeah. Oh, but look, here's some regulars right here from the key. We have uh, Marley and, Marley? Bella. and Bella. Marley's a little tired. Oh, Marley and Bella. Uh, Marley is, how did Marley even play like he plays now? How did he do it before the dog park? I have no idea. No, it's, we need the dog park. I think he was born with a dog park, so he needs it. <laughs> Who, Rudy or Marley? Both. Both. Yeah, well, uh, Marley's here every single day, right? And, and I mean, what's, what's your favorite part about coming here? Looking at them play and seeing my friends, too. That's it, right? Yeah. It always comes back to the same around. thing, the people part. Have you met a lot of people oh, here? Yes, yes. I it's all made good friends. It's also yes. about meeting our neighbors, you know, which is really very nice. nice. Yeah. And getting, getting to know them a little bit too, yeah. on a different level. Through the, through the dogs, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Sometimes we forget that the dogs are even here. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> we do. And if, now that we have the dog park here established, do you find more people coming and you're seeing more families? Well, I mean, that's, a, that's a great question, Lois. And you would think that, yeah, you'd have you know, more people coming with their dogs, right? But what the dog park also represents is, um, is an open space here on the Key where people can gather. And you know, as they look about, you know, they're asking about green space and opportunity for playing fields. Not every, not every green space has to hold a, a soccer field. Here they've created a space that's dedicated to dogs in a large respect, but it also gives people a chance to gather. And so uh, people come here throughout the day. Obviously there's the peak time, the happy hour, I'd say between, between 4.30 and 6 o'clock, it fills up. Uh, and both sides fill up, the little dogs and the big dogs, almost to the point where sometimes it's it's almost too crowded. Really? Yeah, it's almost well, too crowded. I take my walk around 4 to 4.30 because the sun is, is kinder. And I come around here, and this is about the end of it, and I see the dogs, and it's so much fun for me. Well, coming here, when, with the sun setting over there, the light yeah, is beautiful yes, here. Perfect. So it's just another open space for uh, Key Biscayners to gather and, and, and come together. You yeah. just can happen to bring your dog. Right. And if you don't have a dog, you can come anyway. That's right. <laughs> That's how we met. That is. Seeing those big dogs running over there and having fun with each other, which is another aspect of it. What did they do before the dog park? What did all these dogs do? I have no idea. They, they sat never... at home. Yeah. They sat at home it's or like... they walked alone. And that's the other socialization because the dogs don't have a chance to be with other dogs if they are a single dog. That's right. I had a dog for 18 years, same dog. Wow. And so I really miss it, but I live in an apartment that doesn't allow dogs unless it's an emotional thing. Yeah, like yeah. Well, I mean, I would argue that, uh, you know, most dogs, most dogs are offer uh, the kind of emotional support that, right. that any human would offer, another exactly. human. So. And so uh, there are exceptions yeah. for, for service dogs, but you have to have a, you're supposed to have a reason. And we want to have friends and we want to socialize and we want to have interaction between the generations. And maybe and your building will even allow you to have a dog have one a day. Dog. <laughs> We're praying. <laughs> I think if um, if you come here in a little while when there are a Many dozen dogs, dogs yeah. big dogs, you'll see that the way they like to play is very different from how the little guys play. These guys like to run, and they run. I mean, I don't know why Marley's so tired. He must he must have been running hard earlier. But these guys run up and down. Where if they're little dogs, like I was mentioning to you before, even if you're standing here, you have to be careful because it's a pack of six yeah. dogs rolling through the hills. So uh, the little guys, I think, would get trampled. 
And lots of times you see the little dogs just sitting next to the benches where right. people are. So they're, they're different. Their personalities are different. Maybe that's because little dogs are are more socialized because they're taking more places. How important is socializing for a dog? Yeah, I mean, I'm not an expert. Everything I know is what I'm learning 30 seconds ago, you know, or, uh, but, but some dogs have, you know, anxiety. Some dogs even like take medication, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, and it's not, it's not always, you know, the dog that you train, really, it's, it's the person. It's the person, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, for example, if you're walking your dog on a leash and you come across another dog, what's the first reaction? You pull back, yeah. right? And when you pull back, you're sending a message to the dog, danger. But if you realize that the dog just wants to investigate that and is reading your sign of pull back as danger, then your dog will take a more aggressive posture and, and, and growl and have you pull harder. And it just creates a vicious cycle where all you need to do is allow your dogs to sniff each other out. If they see that you're the alpha, you're the one in charge, and you're speaking to this person, there's, you know, there's no problems. No problem then everybody sniffs each other out and goes along on their way. So that's, that's a simple thing about, you know, socializing your dog. That's, uh, that's Caesar Milan. I have to give credit to the dog whisperer. That, you know, that, was, that <laughs> yeah, wasn't I me. I think we're doing a nice job here in Key Biscayne and really becoming more dog friendly. Uh, the fact that there's a dog park now. Um, one thing I'd like to see in the future, I don't know if this is too radical. I don't think it is, but, um, you know, Dog Beach. And Dog Beach doesn't have to be 24-7 Dog Beach. It could be certain Monday, hours. Wednesday, Friday from, you know, 5 to 7 in this certain area. Right. Could, we could try that. Yeah, uh, just for a certain time. Yeah. But there is the Dog Beach on the causeway. Yeah, there's the one on Hobie. Is but that really a Dog Beach or just called it is, a Dog it Beach? It is. It is. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Um, I just don't to like to leave the key. Dog then. over there. Yeah. <laughs> Any chance, same. if I can't get there in my golf cart, Lois, chances are, chances go way down that I'm uh, going. you're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> what I see in the future is just to continue to educate ourselves. Uh, it, it, there could be challenges in here. You know, dogs bite. What if a dog bit another dog or somebody that was trying to break up a, you know, a fight? There are, you know, there are sometimes are little skirmishes that need to be broken up. But I think by giving us the opportunity to come together, to bring our dogs, to be with each other and know each other, uh, we have a chance to learn more about dogs, about their behavior, about training, about socializing our animals. So as we've learned how to socialize our animals better, uh, then we're, we can see our dogs in more places around the key. There's, there's dogs that, you know, sit outside restaurants yes, and or go to beauty very, salons, yes. you know, or uh, go to the grocery store and sit in the cart. That doesn't mean that they're all going to do that, but it just it creates a more tolerant culture. I think that's what we all want anyway, right? <laughs> Somewhere I heard that the dogs like to be around other animals who smell like they smell. You know, it's not to be in a house with perfume and flowers and all that. I mean, who, who, who can argue with that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. What's the best part of the dog park to you? Well, what was the best part for me? What was or yeah. is? No, what was, what was the best part is easy. I, I met you here. Oh. And we've become friends, you know, like <laughs> really. True, like it I, never would have happened. And you've lived here forever. It never so would have happened. Have it never would have happened. So, That's I mean, true. I'm going to, I'm just going to drop the mic with that one. I don't think. She broke the needle and she did so. Walk in the dark. That's a walking back off. Yeah. Don't know how to do it. Oh, my God.